special recycling initiative helping to bring new life to an oyster reef in South Mississippi. Today, Mississippi Power and Beau Rivage volunteers teaming up with the Nature Conservancy of Mississippi and the Land Trust for the Save Our Shells initiative. Maya Turner has more on the thousands of pounds of oyster shells and their new purpose. 44,000 pounds of recycled oyster shells bagged and placed in buckets. In 2022, the shells were collected, cleaned, and transported from Las Vegas to the Mississippi Gulf Coast to help launch the Nature Conservancy's Oyster Shell Recycling Program, Save Our Shells. We have piloted the program at the Beau Rivage, and we started just before Labor Day. In eight short weeks, we've already gathered 10,000 pounds of shell here locally. So uh, we're going to help launch the program. We're piloting the program. We're working out some kinks with the Nature Conservancy. Um, they're recycling twice a week with us, and soon we'll be able to launch that program coastwide. The oysters were transported to a 40-acre man-made reef in Bay St. Louis. Named after longtime Bay St. Louis resident and legendary Hancock County chef and restaurant owner Tony Trapani, who passed away a few years ago. With this reef, we actually built it as for elevation. There's about 17,000 pods out there that we built so that the oyster shell, the oysters could have a harsh substrate and a vertical relief. And so putting out oyster shells, that is what they prefer. There, the recycled shells will create a surface area for new oysters to attach and grow. Well, as beachfront property owners, we are seeing constant erosion away from our beachfronts, just like any other private owner. So the work that's being done on the Tr Tony Trapani Reef is so important for coastal resilience across the entire Gulf Coast, and not only to help our own property, but all homeowners along the coast. So one is just conservation, just increasing awareness. As people hear about this project, they're going to understand the benefit of reusing material, uh, reusing these spent oyster shells. You're avoiding disposal. You're putting them back in the environment, improving water quality and recreation. We all love to fish here along the coast, and so about a year, this is going to be an amazing oyster reef to fish around. Alongside photojournalist Michael Rogers, Saving the Shells, Amaya Turner for WOX News Now. This project was funded by the Restore Council, a federal body created to award billions of dollars for restoration projects like Save Our Shells in five Gulf Coast states affected by the BP oil spill.